Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to do a thrifted milk glass haul and I did a lot of thrifting this weekend and the, the last few days actually I got some phenomenal stuff so I decided to just throw the milk glass together into one great milk glass video. I hope you enjoy it. side of the table I got with my wooden nickel and it was all 50% off at my favorite thrift store. I got this really neat 1970s milk glass um, green mug. It's Anchor Hocking Fire King and I know it's from the 70s because all the labels are different throughout the eras and this is a 1970s one and I picked this up for 12 cents so I guess you can't beat that. If you've seen some of my videos, you know I collect the plain white milk glass mugs and I have so many of them. I was able to pick up two more, same thing, 12 cents a piece. This one's Federal, the Federal Glass Company. And this is, um, <laughs> is mid-century, I'm sorry. This one, I don't know if you can see the label because it's kind of faded or the logo. But it's Anchor Hocking Fire King and this is also from the 70s and they're in really nice shape. I picked up a set of four of these for a dollar. They're milk glass and they're Mexican but they are called opalescence instead of milk glass. Same thing though. This Pyrex divided casserole dish was a really good wooden nickel find. I got it for $2.50. The pattern is called opal. It's in perfect condition. It's made in the 70s and 80s, and people just love it for its simplicity. And on, on replacements.com, they go for about $33. If I decide to sell it on eBay, I'll probably ask about $15 for it. This little milk glass Demitasse cup and saucer set. I know absolutely nothing about it. It's not marked, but it's really pretty, and it was a dollar, so it made it to my collection. Another Avon milk glass cologne bottle to add to my collection, 50 cents. I picked up this really cool liquor decanter uh, for $2.50 with my wooden nickel. And I like to find pieces like this because I actually knew nothing about it. I've never seen one. So of course I ran home and did a little research on it. And I was happy to find out that it was made by J.W. or made for J.W. Dant in 1969. And it's hand signed by A. Singer. And it's um, one of a collection of eight. And this one is the first in the series. Everything you see here, all these casserole milk glass dishes, came from a tag sale around the house for me. I stopped last Sunday. I looked around. I didn't really see anything I liked. So the woman said, well, what are you looking for? I said milk glass and she said well go inside my house and raid my cabinets and I did and she charged me a dollar for every piece here. So this mid-century uh, glass milk glass bowl is a sunbeam mixing bowl and I collect them. I don't know if I have room for one more but I do have one more. Hawking Fire King in a pattern I've never seen before so I, of course I ran home to do a little research and the pattern is called Chanticleer. I don't really know why, but that's the name of the pattern. And they produced them between 1965 and 67. Just a little short run. Another Anchor Hawking Fire King casserole dish in the wheat pattern, produced between 62 and 66. And she threw in the open sugar bowl. I found this really nice um, glass bake milk glass bowl. Actually, the Jeanette Company made milk glass, kind of the same way that Anchor Hocking made Fire King. But anyways, this one doesn't really have a pattern. Some people call it Daisy, some people call it Primrose, but it actually goes by the number JE615. 
and it dates to the 70s and it's in really nice shape. It's different. I don't have one of these. This is another glass bake a Jeanette loaf pan and I have this pattern so I was really happy to find this one and it's in perfect condition and again they didn't give them names they gave them numbers and this one is JE611 and it was produced between 61 and 1983. And last but not least, I picked up this Anchor Hawking Fire King Peach Luster Wear Swirl Bowl. And um, if you've seen some of my videos, you might remember that I do collect them as my Nana had a whole set of them. And they remind me of her. So I did a little research when I got home on eBay to see what these were going for. And the range was incredible. They ranged from $10 to $68. So I've never seen one before. I don't have one. I think I'll just keep it. And I hope you stay tuned um, because I have lots and lots of videos coming up. I have so much good stuff I hauled this week. I can't wait to share them with you. So thanks for watching and have a good day and see you real soon. Hi. Tonight I'm going to do a um, part of it. So for all you milk lovers,